Greetings, I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We continue in our new series, Rest and Renewal in the Word of the Lord, based upon the beautiful scripture from Isaiah that reminds us that we who wait upon rest in hope in the Lord will renew our strength and that God will raise us up on wings like eagles, that we would walk and not grow weary, that we would run and not faint. Today we focus on the fact that the Bible is our sustaining bread and that in order to sustain in the day-to-day challenges we face, we must find intentional rest each day. I was struck as I read Philippians 4, 10 to 14, to consider that this passage often famous for verse 13 that says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, is actually Paul's way of describing the strength he finds in every day and in all circumstances. Paul says, starting in Philippians 4, 12, I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret of being content, or I've learned the ability to rest in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Today, I read that verse in a new way, focused on the fact that we can learn the secret of being content in every and any situation, the secret of resting intentionally each day. We can learn, whether we're well-fed or hungry, in plenty or in want, we can learn to do all things through Christ who gives us strength. If we look at the book of Joshua in that first chapter, where Moses has just died and Joshua is taking over in leadership, God encourages Joshua in Joshua 1, 6, be strong and courageous in order to lead these people to the inheritance of the land that I have given to their forefathers. God says again, be strong and courageous. And then when we get to verse 8, God says, Do not let the book of the law or scripture depart from your mouth. Meditate it on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will go with you wherever you go. What if the truth is we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us? If we find the way to rest, to meditate upon, to live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Today, I invite you to take inventory of this day, the moments that you feel well-fed and able, and the moments that you feel hungry and overwhelmed. And in each one of those, to believe that when you lean into rest within the power of God, you and I can do all things. The journey clearly is long, and the journey is not always easy. But we can be content, we can be strong, we can be encouraged when we find time daily to rest in the Lord. God, we are grateful that you not only call us to Sabbath rest, to periodic times of renewal, but you invite us to know that we can find rest, that we can find contentment, that we can find strength in every day. God, we're grateful that through you, We can do all things because you are the one who gives us strength. We ask today that we would hear, like Joshua heard, how powerful it is to meditate on your word day and night, and that resting in your word, we would be strong and courageous to face all that comes this day. We thank you, God, for how deeply you love us and walk with us. In Jesus' name, amen.